So hello and welcome to this episode of Billy Fishing on this very frosty Arctic morning. It's about minus four. And I'm just about to go on the ferry for a bit of island hopping. Today I'm going to be targeting place. Onto the ferry we go. Out onto the island chain we go. An adventure awaits. Let's go. Okay, so I've arrived here. This space between two islands. So we just see how the water is, what the bottom's like. There's a fairly good current going through here, so there might be some flatfish knocking around. So I'm not bringing a hell of a lot of tackle with me. So this is the area I scoped out. There's not much trouble with casting, right? I could hit that island from here. So we get set up. Yes, this is the mark. Right, and you can see on the water, that there's a nice current flowing down. But uh, this is it. I've only got one rod in the water for now, right? The tide is rising. I'm going to fish up and I'm going to fish down. So yeah, place, dabs. There will be coddling as well. So that's it, right there. Uh, go through the gear. They are the Abu Hellbender. Doing a lot of Abu stuff lately. Meg 525s. All hail the 525. Hell. Uh, 40 pound mainline, 100 pound leaders, all four strand braid, and the rigs are the Pulley X and the Pulley D. You want to know how to build those rigs, I'll link that video in the description. So that's it, and uh, you see how they work when I bring one in anyway. So I'm just going to leave it now for the start, just with one rod before things get too hectic. I don't have a lot of room here, just don't want to be jumping around the place too much until I know what's going on with the water anyway. So I cast it out about 50 meters or something. It's been in there approximately a minute now. Just waiting for a bite anyway. So I'm gonna give it time. Is there a place in this area? I don't know. There's only one way to find out and that's to take your rods there, take your best guess and go for it. So this is my best guess for today, considering the time I had and the distance you can travel and still be able to fish during the daytime. <laughs> Yeah, all right, okay. First fish already. So, uh, yeah. I would say that that is probably a coddling. But anyway, we get on them anyway. We see, maybe it is first cast fish and it's a place. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a place. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, we're in. First cast fish. Can't really say what it is. It's not thumping, so I don't think it's a coddling. I think it's a flatfish. And if it is a flatfish, it's a fairly decent one. Here we come. Oh, now it's thumping. Probably a coddling. It is a coddling. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, we're just plopping back. It's a fairly decent one, actually. You know, just one log one. But they, they often swim in the same water as the place anyway, so. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. So there he goes there. I had the leader, so technically is a catch. <laughs> so I'll show you how to bait up and everything. Show you the rig. All my flatfish rigs, they are an amalgamation of two types of rigs. The top is a pulley, right? And depending on the circumstances and the way you want to fish it, I've got a paternoster, a one down and a Wessex. And today I'm going to be fishing this one down and a Wessex. That's it. I, the cone leads, I have a video on it. I'll link that in the description as well. There's not anything about the coating in that. It's just how to make the lead weights. You're kind of on your own for the coating right now. So I'm actually using my blow log and I'll link that video in the description as well. Lots of links, links for the rigs, links for the lead weights, links for the bait. So it's it's like a, it's a video on how to freeze blow log, right? And it will save you a lot of money and it's actually quite quick and easy to do and when you can't get bait in the winter and get you fishing when you weren't able to fish before so that's one there right these have been actually refrozen three times so they're looking a bit ragged they can still catch fish right and that's the point i'm making not just here in norway in ireland in denmark in france i've used free frozen worms no problem if you have some of my worms and you think they're no good and you're going to bend them when you're coming back from a session, don't. Just slash them back in the freezer. Even if the package is bust or whatever, uh, just throw them back in the freezer, right? My, my fishing, a lot of the time, my bait rod fishing, is a mix between European and South African fishing. This is adapted from 
a South African dingle dangle. I call it the flatfish hair, right? And it's just a way that you can put live or dead worms onto a circle hook and cast it, right? I'll, I'll link how to make these in the description as well, right? How to make the head flatfish hair, I'll link that in the description. And the way it works is this whole thing, right? From hook to the end of the clip is about the size of the average J-hook, right? But it's not, it's a, it's a circle and it's the bait and everything else. And since this is soft, right? When the fish sucks on it, because they feed through vacuum, right? The whole lot will fold up and shoot into the fish's mouth with much more ease than it would a J-hook, right? And then when it's in there, the bait is generally the first thing in and the hook the first thing out when the fish goes to swim off, right? And then it hooks just like that as he goes to swim off. So you don't strike with them. You just let the fish do whatever they want. You saw that coddling, no problem at all hooking him. Although he did come off when I was messing around, but you know, I wasn't that invested in catching him, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we got this bait on here anyway. Works extremely well. If you don't want a deep hook flatfish fish in, in general, this is the way to go. So we get this bait in the water. The deal with these rigs is, right, to clip down behind an angel clip or a BB clip or whatever kind of clip you got going there that can clip them down together equally. And then when this hits the sea floor, it extends and it fishes a greater area. It also casts like a bomb, obviously, because both baits are behind the lead weight. So ultimate distance with this rig. And it gives you so many options, right, with the three different types of rigs. Pulley P, Pulley D and Pulley X. So I get up here on my perch. You give us some gusto. Well, actually, or maybe I'll just lob it again. I can see Coley coming to the surface. So it's like between 10 and 15 meters. But hopefully I'm in the right spot and we get some place or even dabs. It doesn't really matter. Place or dabs, I don't really care. So this is it, right? It's a nice current. It's coming in from left to right, and it's this nice little bay right here. This nice little place here where food might fall out of the water column, where the flatfish are waiting, where it's more slack here, rather than more tighter here and more current. So I've chosen this place here for that reason. Does it pay off? We'll find out. So I'm baiting up another rig. This is the Pulley X, which is a Pulley and a Wessex. So I'm going to cast that out. To the outside of this bay here, that means over here. Get it out. Oh, we're into a fish on the other one. Take this one out of gear. Not what I was expecting right now, but I'll do. Right. Well, of course they're going to come now, right? There's a cod, I bet you. It is a place, it's going to be a really big one. Yeah, we're into fish, all right. Still. <laughs> he is pulling, man. Oh, bloody hell. It amazes me what type of fish will just take one little, little worm. Oh, well, there it goes. There goes the other rod. We got two fish. Is that it? Oh, it's a nice coddling. We've got plenty of fish right now, so that's going to put them back. <laughs> Head down in the hole. Okay. Right. So there's that circle right in the corner of his mouth. If you look at the guy, right. We got him back in. Goodbye, buddy. Now we go and get the one off the other rod. Maybe it wasn't a cod. Yeah, we're into fish. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's really pulling whatever it is. Oh! Well, it doesn't feel like a coddling. Famous last words. Oh, this is different. This is different. What are they? Just oh, the coley. Bloody hell. <laughs> coley and a coddling. Ugh. Right, the two C's, right? Well, both of them. Hooked in the lip, right? Which is a godsend. There he is, hooked in the lip. So we spear him back in. Goodbye. 
and we get the coddling up now we'll deal with him too there you go nice little red cod a little over a pound goodbye buddy look at this look this is why i hate abu grip locks right now that's tightened up all the way and this is the one that came with the rod i didn't buy it afterwards around just bloody rubbish there so we got the next one rebated i'm going to try and put it out a bit further down see if i can get away from the coddling so the bait has been in the water almost five minutes and i still haven't got hit so what i reckon i had going here was a little eddy right and the coddling love it so now i put it out a bit further into the middle of the channel i think there might be a better chance of getting a flatty there because it hasn't been nailed yet and it's been in the water five minutes and there hasn't been a bait that's been down there more than two so far since i got here it's one of those run off your feet marks you know i'm not doing it it's too cold for that <laughs> you start racing around you start sweating and then you're finished winner winner flat fish for dinner play sand dabs <laughs> yeah Nice. So I phased up the second rod. I'm gonna put it out to the left. Down down it goes if it catches Billy a flatfish, nobody knows. So where is the fish on it already? Okay, all settled in. Ready for some action. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> Maybe it will kick off. <laughs> so we've got some interest in the left rod. Hopefully this is a flatfish. So I've had a whole bunch of coddling cod that have come off the hook due to the size of the the hook which is actually kind of good because uh yeah you just don't want to be landing them and landing and landing them and damaging fish and stuff like that so if they just pop off the hook i am happier they're happier up to this point here i think i've hooked into about five or six cod that have come off because the hook's too small and uh, it's just been a succession of that kind of a deal I didn't put them in because the video would just be like mind-numbingly annoying me just dropping fish constantly but uh yeah i'm gonna fish these worms out and see what happens so it's the reason why lugworm are one of the most popular cod baits they love them like i've picked up several like cod on one lugworm here that shows you how much they have to compete for for food here that they'd be bothered with that at all so we fish on brothers and sisters and see if we get those flatfish. These are going to be hard one fish, I'm telling you. Yeah, so we get a cast out. I've already got it baited up. I'm going to put it over here into the corn. See if it changes my look anyway. The bigger cod have moved in, that's why I can't hook them. And uh, yeah, when I say bigger, I mean five, six pounds kind of a deal. It's not really anything to go mad about. If they were breaking rods and stuff, I might have a whack at them, but they're not. Right, so out it goes. Down it goes. So I'll put this up in the pod, get it settled in, rebate the other rod. Right. Loosen up the drag. I've been here five hours, kind of, and uh, it's just been punishing with all the small or all the cod and stuff like that. It's just punishing. So, while I was baiting up, I've decided what I'm going to do. And it's something I've always wanted to do, is to take out my lightest rod I have, right, and stick a 30 gram jig on it, and see what a cod does to it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So first of all, this one goes out. And down it goes. So, the rods are splayed. One this way, one that way. Right, maybe you've got three more casts, maybe you've got two more casts. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And then, 
I'm going to take all this gear back to the car and then I am going to bring out the lightest setup I have and the lightest jigs I got. Right, so got another guy on again or not. Now he's off again. Oh, he's still there. Might actually land one eventually. And between this, missing all the fish and the Abbey grip locks just drive me mental. It's been a fantastic day's fishing. I'm only joking. I'm still having fun. This is a decent fish. Here he comes. Stayed of it. He's only a little guy as well. Come on, fall off. <laughs> no chance. Never come off when I want them to. Okay, buddy. Now there's another one. The hook right in the side of his mouth. Hey, there you go. He keeps the lug on. There you go. There you go, buddy. Keep your mouth shut now. <laughs> Don't say I never gave you anything. Right, ready? One, two, three. Bye bye, buddy. Hope you enjoy that. So, yeah. Just because the coddling are here doesn't mean the flatfish aren't. It just means that they're finding the baits before the, the flatfish are because they're a little bit on the quicker side. But you never know. I'm not going to give up yet. I'm going to fish those worms out and then it'll be retribution for Billy. Right. So we get this one into the water. There you go. So I guess got the other one out. Now that one started again. See if we get a fish on this one. See if we can keep him on the hook. Yeah, we're in. Get that thing off. Oh, that's a nice fish, actually. Oh, he's taking it to the drag. <laughs> See if we can land this one. Haven't landed one of the good ones yet. So. Not even that good. But he surely pulled. So like, that's kind of like, yeah, I've had a couple of cod cod, but this is like, I think the average size. Very pretty, yes. So we're getting back in the sea. See if he can get big for me. <laughs> bye bye buddy. And there he goes. Right, you get more bait than that one. Yeah, and we get this, this deal sealed. Bash this one out, right out in front. There we go. So, see if we can get this guy. Jesus, right. Ah. <laughs> yeah, he's on, all right. Like, I, I only got, I only got the, the reel settled in, and he'd hammered us. The cod are really feeding hard. Oh, he's gone mental. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Ha. Anyway, he's pulling. He's pulling. He's a better one anyway. About three or four or something. Three. He's a better one. Yeah. About three. But they're going to be great fun on this light tackle, that's for sure. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Right. There's the circle, where they always are. Right, so there we go. Ta -ta, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna rock with him. <laughs> Another one, surprise. Yeah, get the last bait on, into the water. So that's it there, last bait. So we get this last cast in the water, and then we start the jigging.
down, down it goes. If it catches Billy, a last cast flatfish. Nobody knows. So we'll settle in the last cast and see what we get. I'm actually looking forward to the next bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I've been meaning to do for a while is go after some cod with a ridiculously light rod. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. This is getting like top gear, right? Starting a reasonably priced car. Instead of that, we're going to have a cod and an extremely light rod, right? Stay tuned. So, yeah, I just got picked up again. This is the last cast rod. I think the bait is washed out on the other one. Yeah, we're in. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> if they're gonna pull like that on these rods, what's it gonna be like on the ultralight? Oh, this is a decent fish. There he comes. Nice little fishy. Did you take both hooks? Of course he did. Come here to me, buddy. Looks like he's about four. Yeah, ah, he's about three, three and a half, something like that. We're back home in the UK or Ireland, we'll be catching fish like that all day. You'd be bloody laughing, right? <laughs> Don't want him thrashing around with those hooks in his mouth with my hands in there. There we go. Okay, so there he is there. Quite a nice little fish. So we get him back in the drink as well. Run. So I'll get the, the next rod in. So I was just taking in the last rod. I thought it was done. And apparently there's got fish on it. <laughs> So we can end with a fish on the bait rods as well, I hope. It's a nice fish though. Can I land it though? That's another story. I don't know why I didn't see the bite though. Here he comes. So we go down and have a look at him. So that's nice. Two fish on the bait rods before packing up. So there we go. Unhooked. Into the water. Goodbye. <laughs> Tata, buddy. Right, so that's it. I'll get this cleaned up and we start with the ultralight. Yes. Right, here it is. The ultralight. It is a Shimano Nexem BX and it casts 10 to 30 grams. Here I got 30 gram fast jig, 4 0 assists, 30 pound rubbing leader because Cod have got mad teeth. So this is what we're going to fish with and we're going to see if we can get a fishy. A few fish before the sun goes down. Up my head you go. Let's see what a cod can do to me on this tackle. So we get this in. 30 gram fast jig. Absolutely perfect for this depth of water, right? And it's a sandy bottom. And the margins are pretty clear, so I reckon I can do this safely without damaging the fish. So we didn't get one that cast. So we'll put one out in front of me. We'll see if we get one on this one. So it was originally this this rod had an 11 pound leader on it, but if I catch a decent cod, I think he'll just saw straight through it. So we'll just go with the 30 pound. Try it and trust it. You don't want any fish swimming around with a lot of line hanging out of his head. Out we go again, cast number four, not impressed now, making me work. After a whole day of just nonsense. Right, down it goes. I thought we were in. Just a load of line. What is going on? So I'm going to cast into the sun. <laughs> See if that helps me out because it's the only place I haven't cast and I still haven't got a fish. Right, down, down it goes. If it catches Billy a cod and an ultralight rod, nobody knows. Oh, we're in. <laughs> I 
See if we can fly it this way, yeah. <laughs> He's not beating me up as badly as I thought, to tell you the truth. I'm surprised. Really surprised. This rod has got more poke than it looks. Okay, buddy. Up you come. So there we go. Uh, it was that fourth cast. Nice coddling of about a pound and a half. Because, because the assists are separate from each other, it doesn't mess them up like the travels do. Okay, bye. <laughs> there he goes. Nice, one cod and an ultralight rod. Yeah! <laughs> Fun times, anyway. So we get another cast in. We'll try it in here to this little bay here. See if there's a coddling in here. There usually is. They like the bays. So we'll get one in. It's a little bit more shallow. But that doesn't put these, these fish off, really. Not these, this size, anyway. They have no business being out in the deep water, they just get eaten. There we go. We're in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you'll be one in here. He's jumping and gyrating it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it must be a coley. There he is. <laughs> it's right, it was a coley too. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought he would have torn off a bit more, but anyway, this is quite a decent one actually. Look at it go, man. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. Put your back into it. Nice cowley. Not a cowley, about a pound or something. A little spruce action there. <laughs> Ta-ta, buddy. Nice. Right. Down, down it goes. It better catch me a card because I'm getting fed up. Did I not rhyme? We down? Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> he scared the crap out of me. Mr. Coalfish, thank you very much. That's a typical coalfish thing to do. Thank you. Last cast to beyond. Right, down, down it goes. Catch this Billy a last cast card on the ultralight rod. Nobody knows. Okay, this is it. Done. Try my best, but it didn't work out. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> Last cast fish. Come on, stay on. Yes, the coley. Ah, oh, I made it coddling. Is the coley or coddling? Is this drag locked up? That's a coley. Nice. No, 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 no. Come on, Mr. Coley. <laughs> Thank you very much for ending the video for me. <laughs> well, I haven't landed him yet. It's a nice one, actually. <laughs> He's a nice boy, actually, considering. Right. So, last cast fish and all. Nice Coley. Probably the one that was plaguing me. There he is there. Last cast fish. Nice little Coley about two pounds, two and a half. So we get last cast fish back into the drink and we put this video to bed. Goodbye.
<laughs> Ta -ta, buddy. So I hope you liked it. I'm Billy, this is Billy in Arctic Norway. Wherever you are in the world, remember, I'll see you on the beach. Bye.